tell me a little bit about what you do at school? Like, I think the Red Cross was... Yeah, that's a big part of it, is the Red Cross. I do four blood drives a year, and with that, I organize them, I get people signed up, and it's... In previous years, the student council president has always done this, but this year I wanted to try and get the most because it was a big hobby of mine, I guess. And so what I did in my free time is I'd take and make posters and hang them all around Hazel Green, Keeler, everywhere and like businesses. And also with that, I had little tiny flyers that I would go door to door and give to people and that helped tremendously with the amount of people I got. And then when school happened, I'd have lunch sign-ups and I'd make different little facts about donating blood and do them every day in the announcements a week prior to mm -hmm. donating. And uh, the first one I did, it was definitely stressful, but after that one I got the hang of it and it became fun to me. Mm -hmm. And it, it was definitely a goal to get as many possible to help everyone and it was yeah I'm definitely gonna miss it and along with that though student council was more I also did different things in the community like around Christmas time we selected a family with Grant County Services and we went shopping at Walmart and we spent about a thousand dollars of our student council funds to help them and to get those funds me and my student council members, we do concession stand games and we also are in charge of the vending machine and keeping track of what goes in it and the money. And we also do homecoming, we take care of that and we do different fundraisers with shirt order forms. So it's definitely a busy task, but it benefits a lot of people. Mm, a lot of students, um, tried it this year and I'm really proud of all of them who did but it's definitely a mix of community members a lot of people make time to come and see me and do that yeah and, and so, um, uh, so there were students who tried it is it hard to get students to do it yeah a lot are scared of needles including myself it was a really big yeah yeah, it was a jump for me to do it, but after people try it, they realize that, oh, it's not that bad and whatnot. And I feel like a lot of the announcements, I, I would say like little snippets of people's stories and how blood helped them and whatnot, I feel like that really helps people realize like, wow, this is bigger than mm -hmm. them, so. Yeah, and so can you tell me about, do you remember the first time you donated? <laughs> yeah, it was really bad because I, I didn't eat much that day because I was so nervous and then they pricked my arm and they had to switch my veins so I got pricked twice. And then I donated the full pint and I felt a little sick afterwards but then it was fine and then at, since then I've been totally okay with donating. <laughs> it was just a really funny experience. Yeah. And so, so why uh, did you um, like want to make this kind of like your um, project to make it bigger? I guess my main reason was because my stepdad a couple years back, he got a huge heart attack where his aorta, there was a problem with it and he lost a lot of blood and he's now paralyzed and I know that without people's help he wouldn't even be alive. Mm. And so it kind of made me want to try and because it made me realize like how many people out there are like Rick, but Rick was... He was grateful enough to live, so I definitely wanted to make sure that other people in the community get that too. Yeah.